Am I looking manly with the belt here? Does this make me look a little bit tougher? You're very much. Okay, great. Are you ready? I'm ready. So, opposite arm leg. Ready? High five! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a good photo? No, I was recording that. You gotta do sure. it again. Hey Ben, how you doing? <laughs> Very good, thanks. We're bench pressing today. And uh, when I say we, I mean uh, mainly going to be Reese. He's... Uh, hey Reese. Hello. <laughs> he's going to be competing uh, in how long, how many weeks out are we? Eight, eight weeks from Big Dogs. And what's your goal today? Uh, to be better than last week. <laughs> Not very good. So last week was 227 and a half for doubles, five sets of two, four sets of two. So to be better than that, that's the plan. Um, and I'm going to bench with him. I'm nowhere um, near the same level of uh, competition prep as him. Uh, so so I'm, I'm not going to be lifting anywhere near close. So uh, we're going to use two different benches. Something I like about the gym now, we've got one bench here and one bench over there. That's the bench press uh, that Reese is going to be competing with, so he has to use that. I'm not competing, I actually prefer this as well, so uh, it kind of suits us not to have to change weights back and forth. We're going to have Reese is going to be uh, the strong one today. Um, the lifestyle. So uh, let's do this. So, Reese, what are you, you going to be working up to today for bench? Um, looking at around 232 and a half. 232 and a half. Around there, maybe some, hopefully, triples. Oh, Hopefully it's a good day. Put everything on from the start. Like, you know, some people like to use equipment um, when they need it. So they start with nothing on and then they gradually put uh, the elbow sleeves on as the weight starts getting heavier. With me, if I'm going to be using uh, this equipment for my top set, I want it for my first set, just so that I'm familiar with the feeling. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference. It's more about comfort and warmth. Uh, I'm way off season. I'm competing. Uh, I don't even know what the date is. It's September. What are we? 10? I think it's the 10th of September. And yeah, it is. And uh, I'm competing in March, mid March 2020. So next year. So we're probably. Five months away. Is that right? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> uh, so I've got plenty of time. Um, belt as well, um, you know, I really don't need this, but I'm just going to rest it here just loosely. I'll probably put it on when I start uh, my first set, yeah, so my equipment uh, goes on pretty much from the first set. Do you prefer the belts with the levers or the, the prongs? <clears throat> now this belt, I love, this is, a, this is a prong, this is called Pioneer Cut, so most of these prong uh, belts, their spacings are one inch apart. These ones are, they're kind of in a zigzag pattern. They're half an inch apart each, which means uh, the holes are closer to each other. So I could be more precise with exactly how tight I want the belt. Um, when I'm doing my top sets, I prefer a lever because when I go as tight as possible, it's really hard to like get it there every single time. Yeah. So I have to suck my guts in and really strain for it. Uses too much energy. Eh? Uses too much energy. <laughs> so so um, when I'm competing, I'll usually just use my lever belt. Um, I just put it on and clip it in. Uh, that's what little Reese has. Um, he'll show you that later on. Yep. I love my equipment. And the beautiful thing about these things is they just last forever. So. It's a good investment. What's on the back? Any any specific artwork on the back or? Uh, this one's just strength system. Strength system. Hey. That's uh, you know they do custom <laughs> um, embroidery on all of the belts. Nice. Uh, I've got one that says strength strength coach. I've got another one that says strong mother F U C star hash E R. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with an empty bar. Yep. Um, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff to just get my shoulders warm. <clears throat> When I actually start putting weight on, I'll try and move at the same speed as my top weights. 
Um, perfect practice makes perfect, but that weight's pretty hard to, to not move fast. It's 20 kilograms. Uh, that's kind of like 10% of what I'm doing. Um, man, this is cool. Like, this is the first time I'm benching here. And I'm looking at my sign. I love my sign. Uh, back in uh, our first gym, North Sydney, it was just a white wall. And people would come into our gym and, and look at the white wall and they used to say, that's the, you know, the white wall of base gym. Yeah, now it's... <sighs> love it. I'll tell you what I like to do. I like to train my posing muscles. So warm up my posing muscles. So I like lat pull downs for that. A few little like um, ancillary exercises, ones that are gonna warm up my rotator cuff muscles. Uh, and muscles that stabilize my shoulder blade. So shoulder blade position is really important for the bench press technique. Come and check it out. But I've just found that when I start focusing on warming up, taking my time and doing the, uh, the fluffy stuff I call it, that a lot of people don't really think about. That a lot of people don't really think about, they think it's a little bit too soft. Um, my shoulders end up feeling a lot better. So when I do these exercises before I train, I don't do it to fatigue. Stimulate, not annihilate. Same with the, uh, the lat pull downs as well. It's pretty light the way we do it. We're not trying to build lats here. We're trying to warm up the muscles, warm up the shoulders. <clears throat> Something that I like about a lap pull down. Look at his, look at his shoulder blades. He's focusing on squeezing the shoulder blades back and down towards his back pockets. Squeezing back and down. So pause with the bar on your chest, raise. Pause with it on your chest. That is the position. Okay, relax. That I'm working towards, and Reese will be working towards holding in the bench press for the whole set. So when you see us bench pressing, that's the position that we're getting in. The bottom position of a lat pull down, which is why I love to pair a lat pull down for the warm ups for the bench press. So, even while you're warming up, let's say with 60 kilos, yep. you, you still clip the weights? Um, I, do what I do when the boss is around. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get lazy in my gym, but yeah. So, that's the, that's the ruling base gym, you gotta always clip it. I'm not upset the boss. <laughs> differences with this bench compared to uh, they're both competition this is a Lico this is very thin padding come and have a look at this this little lip here it's it's very small this lip okay uh, compared to this it's thicker padding so it's a different feel on your back and this lip is a lot bigger so when he sets up those are the little things that we play around with that make a difference. If you practice uh, your whole comp prep with something that's not going to be used in competition, uh, it can throw you off a little bit. Uh, so I personally don't prefer this bench. Uh, which one do you prefer? But we've got no choice right now because, um, yeah, competition uses this. So that's what it is. Do you want me to push it in? I like the back. You like the back? So roll with the barbell. Yep. Lightweight. 140 kilograms, easy weight. Everything that you see here, uh, in terms of the weights that we're using and the barbells, it's all calibrated. It's what you see in competition. So. Uh, definitely calibrated so that's the brand is Alico for these plates this here is what you see in this federation here so that red sticker on the bar um, that's a, that means IPF approved um, that's that's probably the most well-known powerlifting federation in the world um, and same with these plates over here these are a little bit different we're not using these these are bumper plates um, bumper plates are used for weightlifting Weightlifting is the sport that you see in the Olympics that some people refer to as Olympic lifting, but technically it's called weightlifting. And those are the exact plates that you see in the Olympics. So we've got two at the moment. It's hard to say stronger. Um, either of them are stronger than each other. Um, in absolute terms, we've got the animal kid. 
his uh, 185 kilo snatch. Yesterday he cleaned 211 kilograms. Uh, we've got another uh, lifter who doesn't lift as much weight, but he's actually, technically he's a better weight lifter. He's not as strong, but he's been in the Olympics. So 2016 Olympics, that's uh, Sonny Webster. So those are two guys that are gonna be using that platform a lot. Um, it's pretty cool to watch. It's very different to what we do. Um, they're not moving as much weight, but they're throwing those weights overhead, which is a lot harder than what we're doing. Same technique every time. So, something that uh, powerlifters have to contend with is a thing called penis elbow. Uh, so, Reese just told me he's a bit penisy. Uh, what he means by that is his arms are sore. Uh, so powerlifters that use a low bar squat, which is most, most powerlifters, um, put their arms in such a position that they're supporting a lot of the weight with their arms uh, and it hurts the elbows in time. So you get away with it for a few weeks, but then when you get towards the heavy end, um, the elbows really hurt and then you feel it on bench press day because that's when you're really loading your arms and a lot of people mistake that for uh, the bench press hurts the elbows but it's not it's a squat injury uh, and it's just something that we have to deal with so right now this is an extra 30 kilos on top so we're at 170 kilograms Another 25 kilo jump, so that's uh, 120 kilograms, so it's two reds. So I might do one reps, but it's not going to be a one rep max for a while. So some people ask, you know, about, you know, is it ineffective to train with one RMs frequently? By definition, that's one rep max. That means you're maxing out. If you do that frequently, um, yeah, it's too demanding for the joints to handle. But you can perform heavy singles that are sub-maximal. And that's how we like to train as well. So I may do singles that are probably about 95% of my max, um, 90 to 95% of my max to teach my body how to lift a single. Uh, it's a skill. So what I mean by that is uh, most people they train in the gym, they'll do five reps to eight reps or to 12 reps or something like that. That doesn't necessarily carry over to you being able to perform a heavy one rep max. Um, the way that the heavy weights feel, like 100% maximum feels in your hands, can change your technique a lot. So you have to teach your body how to continue with the same technique that you're using for the high reps, um, and not let the heavy weight take you out of position. So I will be performing singles, I will be going heavy, but technically I won't be maxing out, if that makes sense. All right. How are you going, Reese? Fantastic. How long? Two minutes? Two minutes. Two I'll minutes. probably go before you. So, uh, Reese has 200 kilos on the bar. Uh, as the weight gets heavier, the rest period increases. Uh, how long are you resting in between sets? At the moment, like eight minutes. Okay, so he's lifting really heavy, so his muscles are ready, but his nervous system may not be. So if he rushes it, uh, a lot of people freak out when you hear eight minutes. Um, aren't you going to cool down in eight minutes? <laughs> not there, man. I'm pretty hot all the time. Not me either. So, but with this lightweight, if I was to give myself eight minutes, maybe I would cool down. So for me, going from 120 to 145, um, I'll give myself about four minutes. So I'll go before him. I can do two sets in the time it takes to do one. <laughs> but then as I get heavier, I'm going to do the same as Reese. I'll take probably eight minute rest as well. Kilograms. 
It's a funny thing that 200 kilograms looks that fast, but he's still uh, not confident to celebrate yet because uh, what he wants to lift today, 200 kilograms kind of has to look fast. Uh, so he could probably get a feeling around now as to whether it's going to be a good day or not. Um, the way that moved, I think he's moving well. What do you think? Yeah. It, it looks better than it feels, yeah, right. but it always looks better than it feels. That moved really well. Uh, his goal today was to get 232 kilograms for two reps, maybe three. Three, 232 for three would be a PB, is that correct? A big PB, which in Australia stands for personal best or peanut butter. In America, they say PR. PR. R. <laughs> Something that I like doing a lot is working up to a top set and then doing back down work. So the top set, um, yeah, that wasn't maxing out either, which was uh, to my surprise. So something that I just said uh, at the start of the session was we don't like to go to 100%. Um, sometimes we make stupid errors, like this is when I have nothing really planned, but I kind of just wanted to hit that number, 200 kilograms for two, and I was prepared to make that be a max. So what I mean by that is if that ended up grinding out um, and I got it and it was like no more left in the tank, some people call that an RPE 10, which means 10 out of 10 effort. Um, I still would have been happy, but I don't like to do that that often. So I'd say that was um, not maxing out completely. I had a little bit more in the tank, which was nice, um, but we take those gains and we run. I don't need to beat myself up set after set with these weights. Uh, that takes a lot of energy and that also, in my experience with working with these numbers, um, it's a higher risk of injury. So we use the best techniques that we know uh, to avoid injury, to lift the heaviest weights possible as efficiently, as efficiently and as safely as possible. So although we're trying to avoid injury by using our techniques, sometimes the weight's just heavy and injuries just happen. <laughs> so to avoid that, I'm going to strip the weight. Uh, what percentage? I don't know. I don't work with percentages. I work with round numbers. A cool number from here, um, I don't know, maybe I'll just strip all the ugly stuff off the side and just stick to the three reds and the silver collar so it still looks pretty. So that'll be 175 kilograms. Uh, I don't know. That's my working weight. I might do sets of five from there. Probably. <laughs> it's a good rationale. What do you think? 175, three by five. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. What do you think, Reesey? Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
that much aggression. You can say that, hey? I can see it. Huh? I can see it. I can see it a little bit. Thank you for noticing. I appreciate that. Thanks, Kelly. No, not for noticing. Thanks for recording. <laughs> I'm not thanking his wife for noticing my masculinity. I'm thanking him for noticing my masculinity. Oh, Thank you for recording my video. Thank you for recording Reese noticing my masculinity. Today's a good day. Yeah, no, no injuries, it's a good day. So, <laughs> as I said, we try and avoid these things as much as possible. But when you're lifting like uh, weights like that, uh, it's a higher risk of injury. So, no pec tears, just working with you. So he came to me with a pec tear. Uh, that was 18 months ago. Since then, no pec tears, that's a really nice thing. Every six months I'll one before you. Right. So. So we don't want to jinx that, so we'll probably <laughs> stop talking about that now. <laughs> <laughs> Great, that's true. All right, so that was our bench press session. Uh, we did three or four top sets. Reese did three sets, I did four top sets. Um, that's, on paper, it doesn't really look like it's a lot of sets, so if people were to copy that program, um, it's probably not a huge amount and it's probably not enough total volume to make you stronger, but at the weights that especially Reese was lifting, uh, that's plenty of volume. And if you do much more volume than that, much more sets than that, uh, we increase the risk of injury. So there's a whole bunch of opposing muscle groups. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of probably three sets of lat pull downs, three sets of rows, and then probably three more sets of rotator cuff exercises. So it's a lot more total volume on the opposing muscles than the prime movers, but that's our bench press session. It was a really successful session for both of us. Uh, for me, it wasn't my strongest, but I hit 200 kilograms for two, which I'm really happy about. That was my first session, my first bench press session at base gym. And little Reese, he PB'd on 232 and a half kilograms for three reps. Uh, so that's, that's a really big session for Reese. Um, we're happy. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you, Reese. See ya. Hi, five. <laughs>